Hello everyone, Super Dragon Blader here, and welcome to another video of Dragon Ball Xenoverse. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to level up your character more efficiently and a lot quicker. Let's get this started. Ignore that. <laughs> First, you're going to need to select the character that you want to level up. For this video, I'm going to be using my strongest character because, you know, it's just going to be a tutorial. I'm just showing you how to level up a lot easier and quicker. I'm not going to be getting any experience points, but I'm, I'm just going to show you how much I'm going to make. So, in order to level up a lot quicker, you're going to need to purchase the DLC Pack 3 from the PlayStation Store. This is the only way to level up a lot easier, because if you don't have the DLCs, the only mission you're going to need to level up a lot quicker will be this one. Parallel Quest number 52, Great Ape Festival. When you need to level up to level 99, the process is going to take you like, I don't know, uh, weeks, months, it really depends. But if you have a DLC pack 3, this mission is the one that you need. This is the only mission in the entire game that gives you the most experience points. But before we show you how to level up a lot quicker, we're gonna customize our... Our Zizel and the skills that we have for this character. Frankly, I recommend a Zizel that increases your stats. Like this one, for example. Or maybe not. Who knows? Let's, let's look at something else. Uh, I'm gonna pick this one. The <laughs> from Elvatai's Master Zizel. Reduces the time required to battle all allies. Activates after selecting the time a lot of prompt after battle start. A large increase to all stats gained and key automatically regenerates. This is a good Cecil, really. It's only good to use in PQs, trust me. I actually recommend you only use it for PQs. I really wouldn't recommend it to use it on battles because it just takes so much time to activate. And since battles in this game are 3 minutes long, <laughs> by the time it activates, the battle is already like a, I don't know, 20 or 15 seconds remaining. I know it sucks. So first, so next, you're gonna need to customize your skills. Trust me, if you want to get a lot of experience points, you probably need to complete the mission without getting damage at all. So first, I will recommend you use a good evasive skill. I pretty much have a ton of evasive skills here, but I'm gonna show you which one is the best for the job. I'm gonna go with, uh, yeah, Force Shield. Next, we're just gonna go with uh, a lot potential on this one. So we come on I have Goku as my master, so mm. yeah, let's keep it. Well, for the uh, Great A festivals, a lot of people would recommend using. Uh, Blue Hurricane, because it really does the job well done. It pretty much gets rid of the Great Dips a lot easier. If, and only if, you're using a character that's a striker. Because this is a strike skill. It's a really good move against the Great Apes, but at the same time, it kind of isn't. Because this is one of those ultimates that when after you activate it, you won't be able to lock on to your target. Which is weird because when you fighting against Birder or some other time patrol that has it, they can lock onto you while they're still using the ultimate. I'm like, what? That's like unfair, you know? Like, they can lock onto you while using the ultimate, but you can't. Like, it's weird. However, there's some, there's has been some weird cases that you actually could. Uh, I don't know. It was not like a random thingy, you know? We're gonna go with Blue Hurricane. Oh, and also, 
you might want to use either a transformation skill or a reinforcement skill. Uh, let me tell you this. Um, in the Grey Festival, as in Parallel Quest number 52, it's a lot easier to deplete the Great Ape stamina. But in the Return of the Great Ape Fest, it's a lot harder. However, there's a weird case going on where either if you let your uh, your transformation skill just you know wear off, or your reinforcement skill wear off, for some strange reason you can deplete the Great Ape stamina a lot easier afterwards. I don't know. I don't know how, and I can't explain it why, but it just does. So we're gonna go with. Fighting close B. It's gonna increase the power of Blue Hurricane, considering that it's a pose that increases the power of your strike moves temporarily. Next, you're gonna need another skill that, if you don't have time to, like, perfect guard or normal guard against uh, your opponent's attacks, you're gonna need. After Image. After Image does the job. Seriously. I recommend it. Because you can actually guard against any attack with this one. Uh, is that it? Do we need anything else? Uh, actually, yeah. There's another skill that's useful against Great Apes. It's uh, called Bluff Kamehameha. <laughs> I know. It actually depletes the Great Ape stamina a lot quicker. You probably don't know what I mean, but hey, I'll show you. Alright, we seem to be done here, so let's get to Shara. New Parallel Quest, Return of the Great Giant Ape Fest. First thing you want to do to level up a lot quicker is select your character. It, you gain more experience points with using your own character, actually. Then you're gonna need to bring in allies. Like, remember what I said that you need to do, uh... Actually, I know what I said. <laughs> okay, um... I'll, I'll say it right now. Um, the thing about leveling up a lot quicker and more efficiently it's not about completing the mission as fast as possible, but doing a lot of things in the mission. You probably don't know what I mean, but I'll show you right now. You you probably don't need to bring in powerful allies, because at this point, if you know what needs to be done, you are the only person that you can depend on. Alright, first thing first, you're going to need to do... Five evasives. Like this. Then deplete your stamina all the way to zero and then it'll restart itself. You do this is a lot easier if your stamina bar is six bars. Because you can do your evasive twice in a row. It might be a lot easier if you have like nine, kinda like a Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku, or SSGSS or Super Saiyan Blue, I don't know what you call it. Uh, he has a lot of stamina. Anyway, um, uh, it's, it's a lot easier to perform evasives in this mission in order for you to get the award called um, Evader. I think that's what it's called. Yeah. Five times. There you go. Now, let's go straight to the uh, portal here. First thing you want to do, next actually, is fire three full volleys of normal key blast. This method allows you to obtain the award called key blaster. Oh, and not, don't forget to mention to perfect block three times too. I think we just did our first one. Right? Second? I lost count anyway. But do as much as you can, at least three or four times if you're miscounted. Just to make sure. 
Oh, and also, revive your allies three times. I choose the Cybermen because they revive a lot easier. Oh, uh, plus, because of the Z Soul that we just equipped ourselves, it's a lot easier to revive allies. Just like, uh, yeah. Oh, and I forgot to mention. The uh, Cyberman Zizel actually weakens the Great Ape stamina, so it's a lot easier to break the stamina. Like, remember what I said that to Laser Transformation skill or Reinforcement skill were off? Cyberman actually weakens the Great Ape stamina too. I don't know, but it just does. Don't forget to boost ourselves. Oh shit. And Blue Hurricane. That's it. Now, after you've done that, I recommend you do this next. First, you then you're gonna need to uh, gather five items in order for you to get the uh, a war called Treasure Hunter. Why I'm telling you this is because doing a lot of things and getting you a lot of awards allows you to gain more points. Trust me, this is this is actually a good way to level up. Getting the most awards allows you to gain more points. And it equals more expand points and more attribute points to spend. Let's see, we obtained four from this map. We could have obtained five, but there's no more. So, now that we're here, next we're gonna need to destroy ten objects. You're gonna need to count as, as you destroy it. So we destroy two, three, four. Why are we doing this? Because this allows you to get the award called Vandal. Destroying ten objects. Four, I think I'm just gonna... Pretty much I prefer destroying the rocks. It's a lot easier. You you can destroy objects this way, or you can use a skill like the Kamehameha or Death Beam. Any kind of uh, key-based uh, super can do. Uh, some strike supers can can destroy objects, but I recommend the key black supers. It's a lot easier. I actually wish I would have had maximum charge instead. <laughs> That's a lot of easier. So again, if you haven't counted, you can pretty much destroy almost all the boulders. I think we destroyed 10 already. I'm not sure. Really? Let's destroy one more just in case. There we go. Alright, let's move on to the next map. For the Treasure Hunter Award, if you want to collect more items in the same map, you're going to need to go to the portal and come back. Because the thing is, the items that you collect in the maps actually respawn for every visit. They actually respawn as you come back and then when you leave and when you come back again. I think we just perfect got one of the attacks once. So two more times. I think that'll do. Oh, uh, almost forgot. Let's pick up the seven and oh, you already picked it up. See, when it comes to targeting your allies when they're down, it's really hard because you need to have the camera pointed towards them. Or the camera needs to see it. Because if it's not in camera view, you won't be able to target them. That's what sucks. Well, for the opponents in this game, they, they, they can target any opponent. And it sucks because they can do it, but you can. Ow! That was bad on my part. See, if you need to being the most experience points, you need to do this mission without getting hurt once. At all. If you get hit once, you're not gonna get the untouchable reward. We 
leaking up a little bit. You know, it kind of sucks because when you want to get the acceptable award, oh, and trust me, it's gonna get ruined in the end because the time patroller that shows up at the end of the phase, second phase of the mission, trust me, he's gonna do the very best in his or her power to just hit you once, just once. Trust me, CPUs will troll you like that. Believe me, they will. I think, yeah, five items. We already got the treasure award, the treasure hunter award down. We can pretty much focus on completing the mission now. Oh, wait. We didn't do the uh, timely award. The timely award is perfect guarding three of your opponent's attacks. Like that. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot to mention. Look, I'm out. <laughs> see how to see how that depleted salmon a lot quicker. It's even more efficient after the uh, great ape does an attack. Right after, if you do it during the attack, you're gonna get fucked. Trust me. I recommend right after the attack. If you do it before an attack, though, it's not gonna deplete much stamina. Yeah, like that. It depletes your stamina, but it's not gonna do it a lot quicker. Because if you complete the mission while transformed, you get the transform finished award. Yes! Second phase. Alright, let's go. You get more points if you KO all of your most of your enemies. You get the uh, award that you KO the most enemies and you do the most damage. That sort of stuff. Oh! Most important thing, do not, and I mean, do not grab the Great Ape's Tail. Trust me, that decreases the experience points that you earn. I do not know why, and I cannot explain, up, and I cannot explain why it does that, but it just does. I confirmed um, one time that I was, you know, experimenting, that instead of like a... The maximum amount of experience for a second mega was like a... 1300,000 or 13,000. I can't tell. Do not grab the great itself, trust me. It decreases the amount of experience points that you gain. I don't know why, but it just does. One time I actually earned like a 1300 or 13,000. I don't know how much this mission did. But instead of that, I gained like less than that. Way less than I than what I actually want. Or expect. Or something. I don't know. It just does. Trust me, I wish it didn't. Because it's just stupid really. First then the next thing you want to do is what was the other award? Oh, down the water. A pretty much an award that you can only obtain if you complete the mission under no wait with a uh, ten seconds remaining. This would be a lot easier if my ally could stop attacking the monster or not, or not. Shit. See what I mean? At this point, if you don't kill the the uh, enemy yourself. It's... you're not gonna get the most points. Because when you... the uh, finish, that's supposed to be you. I don't think you get the medical work. And I think you just did. Oh, get away. I don't think we need to do it. We're just gonna have to depend on this guy to carry your opponents, because... Right about now, these Cybermen are just going to be in the way. Well, 
I guess it's kind of cold to say, but yeah. Oh shit. Oh, that did the trick. <laughs> and that was the uh, Super Great Egg game. You know, it would be a lot cooler to say it's going to transform into Great Egg, don't you think? Unfortunately, it's not going to be a thing for a Xenoverse 2. I did hear that you can increase your size when you play as a Namekian. I think that was one of the things. It'd be a lot cooler if you could turn into a great ape as a Saiyan. Anyway, 10 seconds remaining is what you need to do to get it down to the war. Uh, oh war. Down to the war. Yeah, just stay away from that attack. That actually kills you. If you don't have a lot of HP. Of Right at this point, like, one poke would just deplete the stamina. This guy would hurry up and kill them all already. <laughs> if you don't want to get hurt, and you pretty much did all you need to do, I think I would recommend you just go to this spot right here. This little cave right here. And you will be safe from harm. This is pretty much the, uh, a lot convenient way to uh, waste time and let the uh, ape get rid of your allies for you. Even that gr uh, great ape beam that he fires, it's it has a long range, but it won't reach you here, believe me. Unless there's some strange glitch and all of a sudden you get hurt by it. Stop targeting me. Target them. Yeah, well, that far away, he's not gonna be able to attack him. What's that guy doing? <laughs> there we go. Both are gonna have eliminated. Not he. Now we can concentrate a lot easier. We pretty much revived them three times, so we don't need to get the medal reward now, because we already got it. Shit. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> oh, we might as well transform. Oh, that's a good thing. One, one karate chop did the trick. Might as well get the no sweater roar anyway. Shit. I didn't mean to do that. And 19. 57 on the clock. And I think it's time. Yep, let's go. And that's it. Let's see how much points we made. Looks like a lot. I don't believe it! Ah. You're seriously awesome! I guess it depends. I really expected, like, a... Uh, yeah, it's actually 100,000. I really expected 1,300,000. Know, that's as much. Uh, defeated five enemies? Yeah. You need to do the entire mission yourself to do it. To get this award. I did at that accept exhibitionist. Uh, I mispronounced that. Uh, defeat three enemies with three ultimates. Ultimate attack finish. Obviously, to get more points, you need to finish this mission with an ultimate attack. A lot of people just tend to just I don't know, grab the 8 ape's tail, but hey, like I said, do not grab the great ape's tail. At this point, right now, I wouldn't have gotten less if I grabbed the great ape's tail once. Even unsuccessfully, that would decrease my experience. Transform finish, defeat the enemy while transformed. Conquer, defeat a strong enemy. 
I know we don't get that. Reversal, defeated an enemy stronger than you. That's weird, because I'm a level 99, and I'm pretty sure uh, Great A Bardock was like a le under that. Down the water, clear with less than 10 seconds remaining. That's how you get this one. Evader, do fight evasives. Uh, hit the enemy with 20 key blasts as the key buster. Perform three throws. Yeah, those were the three grabs that I did on a combat folder. Yeah, you can get this on if you grab the enemy three times. But in this mission, I recommend you do not do it with the great apes. Like I said, do not grab the tail. And timely, three just guards. Those perfect guards I was performing, this, that was it. The perfect guard. In this game, they call it just guard, but perfect guard is a lot easier to say. No sweat. This would have been a lot easier if I had the Untouchable Award, because, well, actually, with the Untouchable Award, I would have had 1,300,000. ,000. But since we got hit, we couldn't have made more points. A treasure Hunter. Collect five items. Vandal. You see, what that's what I'm talking about. Destroy ten objects. Cause the most damage. This is pretty much why you need to bring allies with you, because you can get this award. If you just go by yourself, you get the number award, but you're not gonna get the most uh, experience points just fighting alone. Believe me, bringing Cybermen with you is the best way to, to complete this mission. Because they die a lot quicker, and you can get this award a lot easier, because you can revive them like, like that, instantly. Especially if you had a Zizel that Re, uh, reduces the time required to revive the, your allies. Cybermen and uh, Frieza's army henchmen? No, or oh, whatever you call it. They are actually, uh, they can be revived a lot easier than the or other original characters. It pretty much takes like, I don't know, like five or three seconds max with or without the Zizel. And that's pretty much how to level up a lot easier and more efficient. Like I said, you don't need to complete the mission as fast as possible to get more points, but to do a lot of things in the mission. See, this is why I recommend you do pretty much all of this, I guess. It, it's not as hard as it looks, it's pretty much as easy, really. You just gotta do it. But, trust me, this is pretty much the only way the only way to level up a lot quicker. It's like I said. Forget about completing the mission as fast as possible. You need to do a lot of the mission. That's pretty much the fastest and most efficient way to level up in Dragon Ball Xenoverse. Alright? Hope you enjoyed the video and have a nice day.